Welcome back. Well, in recent times, women around the world have been making great progress when it comes to speaking out against sexism. The Me Too and Time's Up campaigns have seen women pushing for change, challenging the status quo and standing up to sexual harassment. But our next guest says it's left many men in the dark, confused about their role in life and how they should treat women. So for today's agenda, I'm joined by David Mallard from the Melbourne Men's Group and author Nikki Gemmell. Good morning to you both. Good morning. David, I want to start with you. You run a men's group in mm. Melbourne and um, you say that what you've noticed in recent times is a lot of men are confused. Mm. Just elaborate on that. What are they saying? Well, what's interesting to me is that men... And we've been running the men's group for 20 years, so this is not new, OK? Um, but what we're finding increasingly is um, as people join, find their way to the men's group, um, they come to us and they say, uh, what does it mean to be a man? Um, what are we supposed to be with women? Uh, and there's a lot of support, mind you, for the Me Too movement and women's empowerment. That's a given and, and it's accepted and it's a great thing. It's a really positive thing for our culture and for our society. But what we're finding is that there's a sense of confusion around masculinity and how are men supposed to be in the world? And it's interesting that, you know, um, young boys, when they're up to five years old, they're free and open with their emotions. As soon as they hit the school system, it starts getting shut down. Big boys don't cry, you know, harden up. Mm. Um, don't be a girl. Don't be a girl, you know, and this is not supportive of uh, our humanness. Mm. And um, there's a lot of downstream impacts of that in, in that emotional suppression cycle. Mm. Um, and that's reflected in the statistics around society with violence, domestic violence, you know, suicide. Six men today, or seven men, will kill themselves today in this country. Partly because they're disconnected from their emotions and their feelings. And it's that washes through in terms of well, what are we supposed to be? You know, in terms Nick of how we deal with women and, and, and relate to women. Nikki, what's your response to that? I think this is wonderful, what you guys are doing, and I think this should be a nationwide mm. movement, getting men to talk about their feelings, yeah. their place in the world at the moment. What concerns me is a sense of perhaps fragility and hurt from men of like, but w what is going on here? We want to be heard here. Why are you having all the space in this conversation about Me Too and its time and all the rest of it? I would say for thousands of years, women's views and their voices have been diminished, mm. silenced, Suppressed. ignored, yep. repressed, talked over, mansplained, whatever mm. it is. It's time for us now and it's taking a lot of women a lot of courage mm. to come out there and talk about their experiences and we don't want the waters muddied in a way mm. with men saying, but, but, but what about us? We do need to think yeah. about men in this whole thing. I look at my own sons, I've got a 15 and a 17 yeah. year old, I feel like they're the future. Mm. They're being raised you know, they're going to be good men. I have great hope mm. for our young men. What you're doing for the older generations, I think, is extraordinary and, and so necessary. And that's interesting. It's not just the older generations. What we're finding yeah. is um, younger, young fellas, younger fellas in, their twen in their 20s are finding their way to the men's group and they're looking for something. And they often say this, I'm looking for something. I'm not sure what it is. I think what's interesting, as we individuals have blind spots, I, I sense that the, f the feminist movement has a blind spot about men in recognising the challenges that men face through this patriarchal sausage machine, if you like, that pushes men's emotions down and say, you've got to be strong and tough. And it doesn't really set men up for success in terms of relationships, but self-awareness. And you have to be self-aware to be able to relate mm. to people. It's such yes. an important discussion. We've, we've asked our viewers on Facebook, is the recent focus on women's rights leaving men behind? And here's just a sample of what some of you have had to say. Andrew says, no. We men have had it too good for millions of years. This focus on women's rights is long overdue and far from equalising society. Jess writes, why does raising women up have to come at the cost of pulling men down? We can be equal, we can build each other up instead of tear each other down, and we can celebrate the differences between men and women and create a better world for future generations. And Jordan writes, I don't feel left behind, but that's because I treat all people with respect. If you need to ask what is the appropriate way to treat people, you need help. It's probably a very good point, Nikki. Absolutely. Exactly. I, I think... This whole movement is about respect mm. and courtesy and listening. Mm. Listening to Absolutely. you 
as a man, mm. your feelings, but also men listening to us. Absolutely, yeah. Finally, because sometimes men aren't the best listeners uh, in terms of women. And is, it, and is it possible that we almost need to sort of overcorrect the situation before we get to the right sp no, space? No, I, I, I don't think it's about overcorrection. I think it's about moving forward together. Mm. And we've, we've both got a stake in this. In any change process, you have to engage all of your stakeholders. Mm. If you don't, it's going to fail, mm. right? So I think you need to engage men in that process. And, but there needs to be an understanding that men are in some ways victims of the patriarchy as well, in different ways to women, obviously. Mm. Uh, and that's a nar narrative I think is, is worth having in, in, t in the context of our culture, and that's one we haven't had so far. Mm. And just in, just in final, Nikki, what would be your message to young men who are, who are listening to this and are feeling that confusion that David's talking about? We all need to listen to each other and we all need to treat each other with respect and courtesy. Don't be afraid of women. Mm. All we want is equality. It's not dominance. It's not winning a situation. Mm. It's just to be treated on a level playing mm. field that you guys have had for thousands of years. We want to join that party. Mm. And is that so threatening? Is that so hard? And if you find that threatening, there must be something fundamentally yeah. wrong. And I don't think it's here. about threatening. I think it's about um, becoming more human. Yes, exactly. Just growing a heart. Exactly. <laughs> Beautifully put, both of you. Mm. Great discussion. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. There you go. Respect and courtesy. It goes a long way. Mm -hmm.